गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स सो माइक्रोफ्लोडिक्स टूडे आर टॉपिक इज माइक्रोफ्लोडिक्स सो एक्चुअली इट इज अ टेक्नोलॉजी वेयर हाईली मोटाइल एंड स्ट्रक्चरली नॉर्मल स्पोमेटोजोआ विथ गुड डी एन इंटीग्रिटी आर सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम सीमेन सो दैट दे कैन बी यूज टू फर्टिलाइज ह्यूमन ओसाइड्स दिस टेक्नोलॉजी इज अ बोन टू द कपल्स हु इज फेसिंग डिफिकल्टी इन अचीविंग पेरेंट हुड ड्यू टू देयर मेल इनफर्टिलिटी फैक्टर्स दिस टेक्निक इज बेस्ड ऑन अ प्रिंसिपल कॉल्ड माइक्रोफ्लोडिक्स it is observed that physiologically and genetically perfect sperms exhibit a high grade of forward motility in microfluidics the embryologist takes advantage of this property of sperms in a simplified way <clears throat> the sperms are made to race in a narrow stream of fluid the healthiest sperms win this race and get collected in a specific chamber on the upper layer of the chamber and then from which we will take 0.4 ml of the upper layer from the bd syringe from its outlet that is the c chamber those sperms are separated and used to fertilize ovum by xc this is basically an addition on the method designed for couples who are suffering from male infertility factors microfluidics is extremely helpful in the cases where the male partner has deficient amount of structurally normal sperms that is teratozoospermia or where sperms show high dfi patients where good quality embryos were not formed or ivf failed is previous cycles despite of a normal semen analysis report they may also opt for this techniques this is the device which is used for the microfluidics it is a zymod sperm separation device the advantages of microfluidics it is observed that the quality of human sperms is deteriorating in all parameters with each decade this may be due to environmental factors or due to changing lifestyles conventional semen preparation techniques are associated with causing dna damage to the sperm nucleus leading to the failure in an ivf cycle the main advantage of this technique is its ability to yield morphologically normal sperms with intact dna damage to the sperms nucleus leading to failure in ivf cycle so the dead sperms or any debris they are separated and the motile and normal sperms are floating on the upper layer and which is we we use for this cycle ivf research has proved that the use of coalesce technique leads to higher fertilization rate formation of better embryos as well as increase in pregnancy rates after xc procedure So the next is steps of doing the microfluidics procedure. This is the microfluidics zymod sperm preparation device. Here on the plain surface, we have to write husband and wife both name. Then here is one inlet where we use 0.8 ml flushing media in the bd syringe and we aspirate in the chamber. And another on the another inlet, we have to take 0.8 ml sperm sample. in the bed syringe and then we have to spare it this syringe then we have to keep it in the incubator for 30 minutes after 30 minutes of incubation the motile sperms will float on the layer of upper surface and then 0.4 ml of media is to be taken out from the microfluidic device in which motile sperm float will float upwards here after taking the 0.4 ml media then we are just taking a small 5 ml test tube on which we are labeling the patient's name husband wife and then we are just pouring it into the 5 ml test tube then we see the count on the maclos chamber here in this maclos chamber only motile sperms will be seen and no debris anything no dead sperms will are seen here is a short video in which you can see the motile sperms Here is the short video here we can see all the motile sperms used in the microfluidics procedure thank you friends